a dishwasher rack to take these parts. What we've got is it's a release on this side here. We've got a kind of pickup here. Okay. Okay. Probably easier from this side to push it out this way and then pull inside. Yeah. Which of course is not going to operate for me. There it is. Yeah. So you can see the little clip there that was on that side. So from this angle, let me pull back here to show. Basically, I just picked up this back end right here, and that's it. So when we put it in, it just clips over there, and that just that little hook just latches on to the to the piece, and that's that. All right, and it's got one in the front, and then another in the back. Same same exact deal. So now this rack can come out, and that's that. So anyway, it's ready. <laughs> Back on, we did to slide the wheel forward onto the deal and then insert the, the clip. And since this one's missing one on each end, ideally I take it one from the back and rotate with this one so that the deal doesn't come off on somebody who comes in. So I will take just one right here and I'll show you the inserting and just inserts in. Yeah, so I had one of these break. My friend had one break and that's what we're doing today is grabbing the new one. So we just need the one. I took off the back one so that I can use at least one on the front and one on the back just to survive this thing. And since this is a vacant and it'll work out. And I just had the one break and then I can order some more. But this way it won't come off on anybody. So I need to slide this forward, slide it onto the wheel, and then now we're gonna insert this and clip it in. That's all there is to it. So now at least it won't pop off on anybody. So still not perfect, but at least it's not gonna go anywhere. In theory. <laughs> all right, and it's done. A quick search of my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs and links to tools and parts used in the videos can be found in the descriptions below.